practice activities and resources. In addition to the four major skill areas assessed on TOEFL test, reading, listening, speaking, and writing, there are several supplementary skills that will help you succeed on the test as well as in your academic studies. These skills, note-taking, paraphrasing, and summarizing are not directly tested on the TOEFL test, but mastering them will help you improve your score. Strategies for developing these skills are presented below. On the next slide, we will detail what each supplementary skill is about. We want you to take a few minutes to read and take notes if you feel you need to do so. Now we will take you through the writing practice activities. We want to remind you that these writing practice activities are just a few of them. Of course, you may find many more, but we believe these ones will help you succeed on your test. Cohesion, writing concisely, preparing to write, introductions, organizing and writing developmental paragraphs, conclusions, analyzing essays, paraphrases and summaries. Writing practice activities. Cohesion. Cohesion refers to how well your writing flows. Your responses on the TOEFL test will receive a higher score if your paragraphs are cohesive. You can achieve this by practicing the techniques listed below. Writing concisely. Being concise means writing in a way that expresses your essential ideas without extra words that do not add anything important. You can achieve this by Avoiding empty words and phrases. Avoiding repetition. Choosing the best grammatical structures. Preparing to write. Before you write your essay, you need to analyze the task and organize your ideas. Introductions. An effective essay begins with an introduction so that the reader knows what the essay is about. Guidelines for writing good introductions are presented below. Organizing and writing developmental paragraphs. The body of your essay should contain at least two developmental paragraphs. Each developmental paragraph should have a topic sentence that supports and develops the controlling idea presented in the thesis statement of your essay. The idea in each paragraph should support the topic sentence of that paragraph. Conclusions. An effective essay also includes a concluding paragraph. A concluding paragraph summarizes your ideas. It is important to have a conclusion. Without one, it may be difficult for the reader to know whether you have completed your essay or simply run out of time. To write an effective concluding paragraph, follow these steps. Analyzing essays. The list below covers the most important features of a well-written essay. You will not have time to rewrite your essay during the test. Therefore, Keep this list in mind as you make an outline or mind map and write your essay. Paraphrases and summaries. To write an effective response for the integrated writing task on TOEFL IBT test, it is necessary to extract information from both the reading and the listening passages. To use this information in your response, you will need to be able to paraphrase and summarize ideas. A summary is your condensed version of the ideas presented in a reading passage or lecture. A paraphrase is an idea that you have restated in your own words. When you paraphrase or summarize, it is important to keep the same meaning as the original. Be careful not to change the meaning. Include only the author's information. Be careful not to add new information. It is a good idea to have these resources available for you. English language newspapers, English language magazines, English language textbooks, books, online reading materials in English, grammar textbooks. All these resources will help you improve your writing skill.